Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to From the Depths with me, Lathrix, and welcome to the swarm. Yes, all of these are the Rotfly, the drone I made several episodes ago but didn't really get any use out of. Today we're going to start off the episode with a bit of stupidity. I've went ahead and made 40,000 metal worth of these lovely critters because I'm going to send them directly into the enemy base to test its defenses and if they are victorious, well then I'm going to be extremely surprised. Anyway, yes indeed, today we are going against the Deepwater Guard Stronghold. And if we are victorious, we are going to start doing some customizations to the Snapjaw to make it its final form, and we are going to start work on a capital ship, finally, with the Snapjaw um, being mass-produced in the future as a naval, uh, well, a fleet. We're going to have a fleet of Snapjaw in the future. I do actually want to use fleets in this game. I've also now altered the scythe, and it, it now has a different set of AI for its mines. It will only drop them on enemies below a certain point, and it lets go of them a little bit earlier, increasing the chance of the, um, of the carpet bomb hitting the enemy a little bit more. I've also decided to not equip it with any more anti-air, I'm even considering completely converting it for anti-ground. Things like lasers which can only fire down and perhaps even more mines which are dropped in a bundle in, um, in addition to the main carpet bomb. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the snap jaw and split this force into, yep there we go. So now we have just the rot fly, all as one group, one major group. Now I'm going to have to pause this, I think, so they might try to converge on one point, which would really suck. And if I have to do that, I'm going to have to separate them all. Yep, I'm going to have to separate them all. Oh, no, 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 I'm not. Looks like they're all just moving into new positions. That's fine. Okay, then, so we're going to grab the rot fly legion. And we're going to fly it on over to the enemy. Yes, indeed. The Snapjaw should be, yep, just relaxing, collecting crystal. And I'll be back in a second once battle has commenced. If there are any normal battles on the way, I will simply send the Scythe. Just making sure they're not collecting together. As their AI does not really work well in huge numbers because they take too long to get up and down, so they do have a, have a very high liability to crash into each other, doesn't really matter considering each one costs just about 2,000 metal, which is essentially what I lose in missiles during a battle if I have ammunition processors. I'm basically using them as a giant strike force. I'm just spending the metal to attack something. You know, I, I recognize they're going to die. Two urchins and a sled were just sent out before we got here, so we're going to send in the scythe to deal with this audacity. And we are also going to remember to turn on its AI this time. Hurrah. There we go. Why are you not moving is the question I've got for you, Mr. Scythe. Did I just turn on your AI? Hmm, curious. Oh, it's in space. Whoops-a-daisy. Yeah, since we got to space, the new maximum height for this thing is 800. So I've got to be a little bit careful next time I spawn the scythe in, because right now, it's literally acting as a satellite. Yep, that is, for all intents and purposes, is a satellite. <laughs> it's a missile sat Well, at least it's going to be an easy victory, just using the front-mounted missiles to pretty much eradicate the enemy. I'm guessing that's the sledge. No, is that the no? Yes, that is the sledge. It has the missiles for it. Hello. No, you're still going against the other fellow. Okay. That should be dead by now. So hopefully, yep. There we go. Changing target. And hello from behind. Say goodbye to everything you ever loved and knew. Two damaged. And some more missiles just to finish that off. Well, at least it was easy. And we get to see the scythe in orbit there. This way I don't want to make a missile satellite, it's a bit too overpowered. To try and counter this is very difficult. Okay, next time, Scythe, let's make sure you're not at a ridiculous size. Oh no, that was the defending force. Oh, there's a... Oh, hello, there's their base. Okay, so we have no other defending force. Well then, let's send in the drones, shall we? The lag at the start of that battle was amazing. Now, some of my creatures, some of my creatures, some of my rot flies did start at a really bizarre angle because I made sure they didn't start on the shore. So here we are, 
the twenty-ish, uh, probably a little bit little, um, rot flies versus the deep water guards base. Drones everywhere. I think the best way to look at this would be from the perspective of the deep water guards base looking up. It seems like we've already destroyed the two little uh, annoyances. Oh, there goes, oh, one of our drones is down. Remember, the Rotfly are basically completely exposed with no armor whatsoever, as they are completely cost effective. They simply have missiles. Nothing more, nothing less. Oh, there goes another one, I think, and boom, another drone down. Two down already, but some damage has been done to the Deepwater Guard. Oh, I haven't changed the missiles are over to frag missiles, have I? No, they're only equipped with explosive, which are pretty good in small numbers, but still. I feel like I maybe should jump out of the one I'm in. You know, actually, that'd be a great idea. Let's jump out so we don't just um, die when it eventually aims at this one. Oh, some of the mines have been dropped. We are now dropping mines on the enemy base. Oh, if this wins, I'll be so surprised and really happy. Oh, look at that. That is glorious. Oh, another one goes down. <laughs> it's just carnage. Yeah, let's get down here. There we go. The lag is real, though. So many entities. You know, they're not doing terribly. They're not doing terribly. One of them actually survived the hit, which is really surprised. Oh, one of ours is too damaged. And I think that may have been the one I was in. Drop your mines, lads. Your mines are the most powerful weapon you have. It has two explosive rounds on it. One frag, one regular. Making them more powerful. Oh, there's... Oh, darn, they didn't miss. Damage is being done by things being repaired at an almost equal rate right now. There goes another drone. I don't know where to look. It's such a weird match. There we go. I hope, I hope, I really hope it's not going for the engines or the... Yeah, just the engines. Let's see if we can just take it out that way. Come on, drones. Oh, there goes another. They keep going down like, well, flies, honestly. Okay, the, here's what I'm worried about now. They're starting to make their little turns, and this means they do have a potential of knocking into each other. They are all at different altitudes, however, as those two just demonstrated, they do have the potential to knock into each other because their um, their AI hasn't been altered, because it would take way too long to alter every single one of them. Like, if you have a aircraft carrier, you generally have multiple saves. You have, like, Rotfly 1, Rotfly 2, Rot Rotfly 3 and, 3, and each of them have a different um, AI. AI setting, so their cruising altitude is different and such, and that could be done with these guys very easily with their copter blades being kept at a different altitude, however, that wasn't... Oh, there goes one of their guns! If we can just take out that missile launcher, we may be... Oh, those mines are doing work, the mines are the big thing doing damage, like I said, they are much more powerful than the regular weapons. Oh, please win, please drones! You two, stop being attached to each other! Well, at least I haven't mined each other yet. That's what I was kind of expecting, honestly, while I'm dropping mine on, on another's head. Oh, it's not firing. I can't see it firing back. I see things exploding. No, they're not exploding by themselves. But they are exploding. Their cannons are firing, flailing, in fact, to hit, hit something. But there's nothing really they can hit at such a high altitude. Are the drone? Oh, no, the missiles are back online. Maybe just out of ammo. Perhaps one of the ammo stores has been hit. And... Oh, another drone has been removed. Thankfully, every time it does a volley, it seems like the volley only goes for one singular um, fly with maybe the odd one altering target. I don't know what the missiles are going for, but they're not doing a good job actually hitting the target. Again, the mines are doing everything. There's not many left. The rot flies are being um, slowly whittled away into nothingness. How much damage has the Davy Jones took? It's only took 20% damage, but it's looking a lot worse. Of course, once all the vital systems are off, there's nothing really left for the Davy Jones to do. Oh, sorry about the weird camera then. My monitor decided to turn off there, so I've had to just restart. There we go. <laughs> oops a daisy Let's ignore that just happened. Come on, lads. There's not many of you left, but look, it's almost crippled. Oh, baby, a cripple. Come on, yes, there we go, that's where the engines are housed. A huge chunk of damage there. Is the engine... The engine is damaged, the engine is badly damaged. Will the drone swarm be the victor? Remember, this only cost around about 40,000 metal, by the way, in total, for these drones. I mean, this does show the effectiveness of um, quantity over quality sometimes. What's the unquote? Oh yes, quantity has a quality of its own.
And I think that's showing here a lot. To be fair as well, though, this the David Jones is, is not well equipped for for um, anti-air, and it's also not equipped for swarm. This is swarm air. Not much left to do, really. I mean, the missile's definitely offline now. Probably their missile stores have been finished. So as long as they don't destroy each other now, I mean, it looks like victory may be on the um, on the horizon. Particularly if the engine takes another hit. Oh wow, the engine has been annihilated. This may be soon destroying itself if it can't have enough power to uh, maintain itself. I could try and capture it. We've tried doing that in the past and it didn't go too well. I'd rather actually make my own base in the future. I'd rather just don't get the resources, honestly, from just destroying it. I mean, I could get, obviously I can get resources from taking it as well. Ugh. Oh. Tell you what, I'll sit on there. I know where one of the AI is, I don't know where the rest are. I know that there's one right in the uh, main deck there, but I don't know where the rest are. So let's have a quick look-see if we can do something about that. I may need to stop the combat capabilities though of the rot flies, otherwise their missiles are very likely to kill me. Where are they going? The missiles always go for this centerpiece here. If I had the random block thing instead, it would be much better. God, the missiles went right past me then. Hello. Weird camera at the moment, I don't know what's going on with that. Perhaps it needs to restart, the game does. There's one of the AI, I don't know about the rest. I know. I think there's more than one at least. Really? Oh my lord. Well, remember, we, did, we, we have captured this before. And the last time we captured it, it went horribly wrong. Also, I think it's self-destructing. Okay, we're going to have to sell it now. It's going to self-destruct incredibly soon, so scrap, yes. I'm sorry we can't keep this. It's a glorious thing. It is one of my favourite things in the um, in the game. But I'm sorry we can't keep this. It's going to self-destruct. It has no engine capability right now. We don't have enough time to repair it. Of course, we could take it out of play and try to repair it that way. But the cost would be so much. Well, look at that metal racking up. Drones. Seriously, though, drones. Yes, resources for me. Why are you still here? What? No, a couple of them are, okay. The drone swarm just beat the Davidge. I'm I'm shocked, speechless, and a little bit kind of just happy. That's that was phenomenal. Whoa, we have a lot of metal from that. I didn't even look properly. Oh Whoa, um Can I actually repair this? So if I pull all and I press repair. Oh my god, it'll start repairing up now. The problem is, I don't think any of them have repair tentacles. Yeah, they don't They don't actually have repair elements, but... Spawn in a rot fly for a second. Sure, I spawned in a damaged one. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to... Okay, spawn in a non-damaged rot fly for a second. So, take you out. Uh, 81%, let's say... Is it actually 100%? You 100%? It's hard to tell. Okay, good. Now you... Misc, just for a second. Repair tentacle, compact repair tentacle, because I prefer those. If we're going to keep this swarm, which I think we should, because <laughs> I think it should be an, honor an honorable thing now, we should have them all equipped with um, repair tentacles. I think that would be a great idea, because it's not very expensive. I would Look, it's healing them! Oh, isn't that awesome how it does that? Just look at that. that see, that's how it does it off uh, when they're offline. Just press repair, and this will happen automatically. So they're all now repairing up from that singular. So what we'll do is we'll make a new rot fly. Well, at least we'll edit the rot fly we have to have different AI. Oh god, maybe we should make. Hmm, maybe a swarm of like ten or something. It'd be a bit more manageable. But yeah, they they definitely all need um, the repair tentacles. Let's just go ahead and equip a couple. So I'll just um, do it off camera, most likely. Well, the drone squadron, the swarm, have defeated the deep water guard. But there are, there are of course multiple deep water guards still left in the oceans, and so the swarm is going to be sent against them until they are defeated or the deep water guard are defeated. One of the two. Honestly speaking, um, there are several deep water guard regular ships and such which are much more frightening than the um, Davy Jones. The Davy Jones was quite a bad, um, quite a bad matchup against the drone squadron, which you see in front of you. Oh, isn't that beautiful? <laughs> These missiles are far too short range, by the way. 
Oh no, they are fragment. Oh, it must have been the degraded mode, which was making it hidden. That is honestly beautiful. I am having more fun right now in From the Depths than I have in a while, and I, and I normally have fun, so... <laughs> Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, let's just have a few more battles with the drone squadron to round off the day. Of course, we are going to make these drones better, and we are going to do this again, because this is hilarious. Okay, so pull all, and let the group go on auto-repair, and you'll watch the healing magic. There we are. Since we have multiple now with the repair tentacles, I think we have six or seven of them now with them, so... Off, so after the battle they're very good at repairing. You see, I would add repair bots and such, but there's almost no point. The drones essentially die. If they get hit, they do tend to just outright get removed from the battle, go to too damaged, so there is a bit of that going on. Anyone else wish to fight the, um, the drone legion? You are a group... Ooh, a strength 39. What do you have? You have a urchin. A scuttle gun. I'm not scared. I'm surprisingly not scared by um, scuttle guns though, because although the drones aren't too fast, actually hitting them with such a slow shooting thing. I love how this group is still called Group Snapjaw. Just thought I'd mention that is kind of funny to me. Okay, well, battle begins. Ah, and a nice um, crisp day now. Let's just remove this so we can see a little bit, a little bit better. Now that see the urchins, I'm actually a lot more afraid of. Because the urchins have missiles, and missiles, as you can see, outright kill the drones. So it is just a matter of, can they survive long enough? Good, they're all focusing on one enemy. Oh, some of the missiles are now hitting. So, things we need to do with them. Longer range missiles, or simply spawn them closer, actually. We could uh, move the platoon with the fleet position to be a little bit closer. That would probably work as well. The insects are coming. Ow, 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 ow. Well, I didn't die. Hmm, maybe it would be okay to add, add repair bots. But again, it'd be easier now just to alter the blueprint and then save over so, so the next time we make a swarm. Because what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to keep on throwing the swarm against enemies until eventually the swarm cripples. Uh, cripples? Crumples, that's what I'm looking for. Or is crippled, in fact. And then I will remake it and send it off again. It's actually a really weirdly effective tactic, it seems, because... I don't really care about these things. Or just making fleets and send... See, that's what I need to do. Start making fleets to be sent off, which aren't overly expensive. I don't mind losing. Well, there goes another enemy. That was a strength 39. And once again, of course, put them on the repair. And the repair systems all turn on, and they're fully repaired already. Admittedly, we're going to lose a lot of uh, metal doing this, because every time they have to be repaired, it is another almost 2,000 metal per thing lost. But it is hilarious. Okay, it's time for a bit of a more difficult fight versus a coffin nail and a paddle gun. What we're going to do is spawn our forces in a lot closer to the enemy this time. In fact, basically on top of them. So, it's going to be good versus the paddle gun, but I'm not sure how well this is actually going to do versus the coffin nail. Regardless, let's see, this may be the final end for our little legion here. Okay. There's the swarm straight away on top of the enemy. All of them are focusing on the coffin now. It's actually fantastic. Oh, straight away. The sheer quantity of missiles have done a lot of damage to the enemy. And mines are already being dropped. That's actually rather awesome. Must be said. Okay. Can the swarm take out a coffin? AI is already dead of the coffin nail. Oh, one of our um, drones has gone down, of course, but that is to be expected. They are expendable elements here. Oh, one is repairing another. Well, that, I guess that is bound to happen. Now, that's what I'm scared of. That paddle gun can do a lot of damage very quickly if it gets if it gets a good lock on. The coffin now got completely defeated. So, of course, the question is, can we take out the paddle gun now that's been downed? They are now, they are now swapping targets. Oh, he's going to die before he gets to drop his mines! No! <laughs> Terrible! Oh, too damaged, but he's repaired. Oh, no, the too damaged is trying to do the repair. Darn it. At least we've leveled up. Not that does much good, considering I'm limiting my levels. And we are victorious! <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. That's... This is... The look at this just look at this drone by the way. This drone is terrible. It's it was a test vehicle made purely to test out drones and well 
They are currently destroying the deep water guard on their lonesome, although we did take a lot of casualties there. Let's just have a quick look how much this costs. Watch our metal. Oh, oh, that's going down by the 2000s. Look at that. Yeah, see, it's just not efficient. You, you have to have some quality in your drones, which I don't have. They're working. They're certainly working, but not in the way we need to. So next time as well, we are going to make our satellite, our um, actual satellite satellite. So let's be right back into another battle, I suppose. I only just realized that you can actually see how many drones, or well, sorry, no, how many vehicles you have in a fleet up here. The snapper jaw, in brackets, plus 20. If you look at any other group, it's plus one because they're all on their own. Okay, so that's something I didn't actually know before. Again, I'm not really used to kind of fleets, but after this, we're going to have to make some fleet work. I think the Snapjaw and Battleship will be like our heavy fleet, but we need some smaller fleets as well. It seems like all that's left now, really, is just, well, nothing of importance um, towards the enemy. There are no real deep water guard left, just let's see if we can kill a few more scraps. Ah, uh, a simple strength 14 are against us. It seems like these really are the last few of the enemy. Of course we'll start the battle. What are we actually against? We are against a singular sledge. Really? That's a strength... Tw I did not... I, I did really not think that was such a high strength. Well, let's begin the battle and see how it goes. Where are they? There he is. Starting so close really does have a huge advantage of a lot of damage very quickly being, um given to the enemy since all of the missiles are instantly in range and very close to just hitting them. I should also um, mention at this point we are still on the regular difficulty as you can see here we have difficulty mod uh, modifier the enemy growth factor. I actually checked after we killed the um, the enemy base just to ensure that I didn't accidentally lower the settings or they had reset it to what they were before the campaign but nope it is as it is. And the drones are, well, ridiculously effective. One of them did go down to missile fire there, but as usual, it doesn't take long to repair them because they're so tiny. Well, I think we should call it here, though. Next episode, we're going... We've got so much to do. And then we are going against the White Flayers. One of the easier enemy. However, they are on the route to some of the enemies I have not faced before. I'm not sure what I want to fight yet, but I kind of want to fight. Let's have a quick look-see at the um, old diplomacy tab. I'm kind of in the mood to fight the Twin Guard which is rather awesome. So, the Twin Guard are kind of an enemy I've never actually faced before, ever. So I really want to fight them. So it's something different. The Grey Talons, I don't think I've really had much, um, you know, kind of interaction with either, but I know more about those than the Twin Guards. So we're going up against those as soon as possible. And to get there, we're going to go through the uh, the white flayers. Also, I, don't, I, I didn't realize how much lore there was. Like, the, the white flayers are religious zealots and all about flaying and everything, which is kind of awesome, obviously flaying, but it's still rather awesome, the flayed god. Yeah, they all have a lot of lore other than the, um, other than the poor steel striders, which are just the governing body. The end, they are the government. So, yeah, the steel striders I've not really fought before either, but I've seen their ships. Twin guard, Almost no idea. At least I think it's the Twin God I have no idea of. I'll check back in some previous episodes. I'm floating into space because I'm on a currently despawned vehicle. Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed today's very uh, odd episode, then of course, likes, favourite, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that From the Depths is a series you wish to see continued in the future. Thank you, and goodbye.